Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Meat Cranium Barbecue Review. Today, I'm doing beef short ribs. So what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna, going to marinate them for about four to six hours in some wine and some other stuff. Gonna get started on that. And then I'm going to put a nice little light smoke on them. A beef short rib. This is all meat right here. And it sits on a bone right here. It's kind of like a little meat pillow if you if you want to say hashtag meat pillow so that's what it is it's just like a little meat pillow sitting on top of a bed of bone it makes me so happy let's get started uh there's only a couple of, uh, things to do in this process it's actually really quite easy yeah that's it let's get started we put some thyme rosemary a bottle of uh just some cheap red wine right here this is like five dollar bottle of red wine we're doing an onion so a couple of green onions i have some garlic, two carrots, and some ginger. You might ask, why are you doing ginger? Because I like ginger, that's why. Plain simple. Okay, so all we're gonna do is just gonna cut this stuff up. Um, all the vegetables have already been rinsed off. Just gotta come over here. Let's get the stuff organized over to the side. Then you got uh, some ginger. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna go get a bigger bowl and transfer this all into so I can stir it all up. That looks pretty just like that, doesn't it? Anyhow, here we go. Okay, and whatever is not uh, covered, use yourself to some, uh, some regular uh, beef stock and cover it, fill it up the rest of the way. Okay, so I uh, can't get it all covered, but it's okay. Just make sure that the meat part of the, the pillow part of the rib is down inside the wine and the beef stock. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, throw the rest of the uh, thyme in here. That's good. All right, so I'm gonna let it sit in this, uh, this marinade, this solution right here for four to six hours. Probably be more around the, probably the four hour mark. Depends on if I have something I gotta do. So uh, I'll be back when this is ready to go onto the pellet smoker. All right, so it has been four and a half hours. Let's see what the ribs look like. Those look like you could eat them already. All right, so this is what I gotta do next. Now I gotta take them out of here and I gotta dry them. This one here is a little thin, so it's not very big. Not much pillowiness to that one. All right, time to dry them. Okay, and after they're good and dry, go ahead and uh, I got some uh, salt, pepper, garlic here. Uh, above. Okay, it's waiting for the pit to heat up. They're gonna get the uh, the meat pillows on. Those sweet, beautiful meat pillows. There you go. Okay, and with the rest of the marinade left over, do not throw this away. We're gonna be using this later on. So it has been a half hour. Go ahead and get some uh, beef broth. There we go. Uh, fat looks like it's starting to render pretty nice in this process. All right, be back in a half hour. All right, so it's been one hour, and this is what we got. Getting some pull back on the ribs. Looking good. I just probed them a little while ago, and uh, they're probing pretty tender already. So I'm going to get these off and get these things wrapped up. Beef broth here. All 
right, so I just got done putting the uh, beef short ribs back onto the Camp Chef Pro LUX pellet smoker. I just cranked the temperature up to 350 so they can get really hot and steam inside there. Gonna give about another hour. At about the 50 minute mark, I'm gonna put a cast iron skillet inside the uh, pellet smoker. I'm gonna let the cast iron skillet get extremely hot. And I'm gonna put some olive oil in there. I'm going to uh, cook the vegetables. I'm gonna fish out the vegetables. I'm gonna put those vegetables inside there. Get those nice and seared. I'm gonna pour the liquid in. Reduce down the liquid. Then I'm gonna finish off the beef uh, short ribs in the cast iron skillet. And uh, after that, it's gonna be perfect this is the best way to do uh, beef short ribs in my opinion because you get a little bit of smoke you got the wine you got all that stuff working for you and they're going to be tender and they're going to be juicy they're going to be perfect uh trust me this is a great great recipe all right so there's about 10 minutes left for an hour i'm gonna go ahead and put the cast iron skillet on there move that to the side close that let that heat up and they're going to do the vegetables all right, so the street lights are starting to come out, so I went ahead and I just cranked it up to 375 to get that uh, cast iron uh, skillet just a little bit hotter to try to make uh, try to bring this along a little bit quicker because I don't want to have to bring out my lighting. I would like to try to get this done while there's still light outside. Yeah, so about another 10 more minutes, I'm going to start getting those vegetables in there with some olive oil. And uh, it's going to be, trust me, this is going to be perfect. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. Let's get some uh, olive oil in here. That's the first step. All right, the oil's nice and hot. Let's get the vegetables in there. And I pulled out uh, a lot of the um, rosemary and the thyme, but I kept a little bit in there. So there's a little bit in there, you'll see. Then I'll do the, uh, the red wine. Stir this up a little bit. I'm going to uh, remove the ribs and let those just sit. Those are done, and I'm gonna concentrate on this. It's starting to rain, great. All right, so change of plans. I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit uh, sooner. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna transfer the uh, the cast iron skillet to here. Go ahead and transfer everything over to my induction cooktop and just uh, go ahead and get this done because it's starting to get late. I just want to get this thing done and it's also starting to rain. So uh, just gonna go ahead and speed it up on here uh, and, and kind of cut some corners. So there we go. All right, so these have been cooking for about five minutes now. It's kind of reduced. So I'm pouring the juice in there. Time to reduce that. And I'm going to uh, put the beef short ribs in here and finish them off. All right, so let's see what the, uh, the ribs look like after uh, they've been resting. Oh my goodness, look at those. What an absolute meat present that is. Look at those. That's beautiful. And I'm about to put it over in there. That's uh, the marinade is boiling. And we're going to reduce that and we'll put the uh, ribs into there. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Sweet. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes and it's reduced down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and add the, uh, the ribs back in here. The, the bone came off of that one. Can't tell me that doesn't look freaking amazing. So I just uh, turned these back around out of the meat and the bones are facing down and the meat is up. Just uh, reducing this a little bit more and letting it thicken up and it's going to be golden. I think I made it just in time. Now, time for the taste test. This is what it looks like right here. Okay, check that out. Bam. So tender. There you go. That's divine. Anyhow, just a nick of time. It's starting to rain. Anyhow, like, subscribe. I'll see you next week.